Hi, my name is Drake. I'm going to show you how to change the H2O2GO RO50 reverse osmosis filter cartridges. So, to get started, what you want to do is you want to turn off the water. There's two valves to turn off the water. The first one on top of the holding tank. You simply turn it a quarter of a turn and it's off. The second one is the feed water. You find the red tubing that goes back to the wall underneath your sink. There will either be a shutoff that looks like this. As you see, it's going with the line to shut it off. You turn it a quarter of a turn so it's blocking the water. Or it'll be a shutoff like this that the builder put on. This one, different builders have different shutoffs. This one, you just simply turn it a quarter of a turn just like that. Other ones are push pulls, other ones, there's a variety of them. Uh, that I can't help you with. But you want, in a pinch, you do this, wrap a rubber band around it, it'll shut the water off this as well. Now, to relieve the pressure to help unscrew these canisters, what you want to do is take your faucet, put it on the on position, that'll relieve the pressure. That will help with the next step which is unscrewing the canisters. What you want to do is you want to turn it not righty tighty lefty loosey the opposite because you're unscrewing the face and not the top. So it would go like this. This is how it unscrews. Sometimes it's a little tough. You just got to bear down on it and, and unscrew it. Maybe put a pipe on here for leverage. There's all kinds of tricks. You take out the old filter, drop in the new one, screw it in hand tight, and you will repeat this on this other filter. They're the same filter, so it doesn't matter which filter you put in which one, because they're, they're absolutely the same filter. They're coconut carbon. Uh, we like the coconut solid carbon block because the granular tends to channel. The water tends to channel. So after you do that, you want to change the membrane every three years. Filters are every one year, the membrane's every three years. The membrane's kind of the key to the whole system. It squeezes the water through the membrane at a few drops per second, and that's why you need a holding tank. This is how you change the membrane. First thing, you want to disconnect this tube right here. And I don't know if you can see it, but you push this ring down as you pull the tube out. That will let the tube loose. And then, if you want it, this is going to be tough because these are really on tight. You screw it this way. If you don't have one of these wrenches that you can get on our website at hchotogo.net, I think they're like four or five bucks, or a big pair of channel locks will also work. Like this and screw it this way and you screw it this is the uh, lefty loosey righty tighty so it's like this sometimes I have to disconnect these tubes get it down on the ground and just bear down on it but you you have to get this thing out and when it comes out you just take out the old one like kind of like it's kind of tight pull it out and you would just put in the new one. These O-rings need to be seated on this side, so you make sure it gets in there, okay? And of course, then you just screw it back on, and you put your tube back in there, make sure you kind of feel that click. Now, everything's been changed. You want to check for leaks, so you would turn your water back on here, your feed water, turn this back to the off position, let it fill back up. Once it fills back up, you check everything because you don't want to leak. You check these, you check these, you check this, you check this. Once you are confident that there is no leak, you drain your tank. It'll take about four to five minutes. After it's drained, you shut it off, you let it fill back up which will take about 45 to an hour and a half. Drain it again. After that, you're ready to go. And if you have any questions, you can always call our office and we'll help you walk it through. Thank you.